Hello, my name's Richard. I'm the pastor at the King's Church in Adelston in Surrey. It's Christmas Day. Happy Christmas to you. Um, over the last four weeks, in the run-up to Christmas, over the season we call Advent, I've spoken of things that are coming. Advent means uh, coming. And now we are here on Christmas Day, and Christmas has come. Uh, and on Christmas Day, we celebrate, celebrate that Christ has come. Jesus has come and God is with us. But this is a very strange Christmas day, isn't it? Um, we're all scattered, we're separated, uh, many of us are isolated, we're in our own homes. But I want you to know this year, of all years, that this Christmas time, Christ has come. God is with us. He is here. Now, with the arrival of Christ in our world, I want to tell you about something that has come to us here, now, today, wherever you are. The coming of Christ brings a coming peace. See, when the angels famously announced to the shepherds uh, that, the, 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 that Jesus had been born, they, they also said this, Glory to God in the highest and peace on earth among those with whom he is pleased. On earth, peace and goodwill toward mankind. With Christ comes peace. Jesus himself said this, a time is coming, and in fact has come, when you will be scattered, each to your own home. You will leave me all alone, yet I am not alone, for my Father is with me. I have told you these things, so that in me you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. In Jesus, you may have peace. But Jesus is very honest. He says, in this world, you will have trouble. The coming of Christ in our lives doesn't necessarily take away the problems, the pains, uh, the difficulties that our world gives us. He says, Jesus himself says, in this world, you will have trouble. But knowing this, we also know that in Jesus we may have peace. In Jesus there is a peace that goes beyond and overrides the troubles of this world. All the while there is trouble in our world, there is at the same time a greater peace to be found in Jesus Christ who has come to us. Now I can tell you personally, and I know many others who could tell you, the same, that when there has been all kinds of troubles, uh, difficulties, uh, pains in my life and the life of others, I have found simultaneously at the same time a peace in Jesus. Not that the trials or the pains went away, but that coexisting, a greater peace, a wholeness, a rest comes to me through Jesus. I found just the mention of his name, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, brings peace in many of my circumstances. There is power in the name of Jesus who has come to us. And so, in this very strange and unusual Christmas, may you know the peace of Jesus come to you. The scripture says this, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. His peace is beyond our comprehension. It really doesn't make sense. When all things are, are going wrong around us, there is still a peace to be found in and through Jesus. And at, when, at times when we, we should be anxious or fearful, at times when we are overstretched or you know, completely burnt out. An unbelievable peace can still be found in and through Jesus Christ, who has come to us. And so this Christmas, know that you are not alone or in isolation, that Christ has come. And with him, may you know the peace that transcends all understanding. In this time of difficulty, may you know the peace of God guarding your hearts and guarding your minds in Christ Jesus. And to all your worries and fears, I say, peace be upon you in Jesus' name. 
to every anxiety and every stress, I say, peace be on you in Jesus' name. To all difficulties and trials, I say, peace be upon you in Jesus' name. In your mind and in your body, I say, peace be upon you in Jesus' name. In your home and in your town, I say, peace be upon you in Jesus' name. To this nation and to this world, I say, peace be upon you in Jesus' name. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace among those with whom he is pleased. Amen.